Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Craig Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to do Carrera hair. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of different tricks that, uh, before we even do the hair part, I want to show you a, a little trick that I use to um, kind of lessen the, the RAM load, uh, or the load on my RAM, uh, when I'm doing Carrera hair. I made up a little movie here, and uh, what I do is I go into, uh, I go into Poser and uh, this is actually all I really use Poser for anymore but um, you uh, pick the figure that you want and then get your camera aligned and that's kind of a hassle in Poser uh, get your camera aligned to uh, the head or whatever body part you want to put hair on and uh, yeah uh, select your grouping tool this little guy right here and then select lit wireframe and now you can see all the way through your model. Now it's just a matter of pushing control and then deselecting the, the polygons that you don't want. See that? And you kind of build around the head. And this is kind of tedious, so let's go ahead and fast forward through this a little bit. But you select, 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 deselect, select, select. And then once you got your model right where you want it, right where you want it. Uh, go ahead and jump out or you're not jumped out yet but uh, select a, select a, another camera angle and then select not texture shaded. Texture shade is going to show your your uh, lit lights and everything. Um, pick uh, lit shaded I think that is and then uh, go around make sure you got your polygons right and over here on the right hand side in geometry functions is uh, spawn props and create props those two are kind of interchangeable uh, to me I, I uh, never really did know the difference between them but uh, both of them work kind of well I always use spawn props anyway but you spawn your props which is your skull and now just jump out of your grouping tool or yeah jump out of your grouping tool click translate so you can kind of manipulate things around select your guy delete him kapow and now all you have left is your skull or your yeah your skull cap or scalp or whatever you want to call it uh, go ahead and export it uh, like using wavefront kapow there you go and then deselect the things you don't want select the ones that you do push OK and now you can find an area to, to put your newly made scalp. And this is a really cool way to um, save on RAM. Something you need to know though, if you're, um, go ahead and push OK, everything, the default is fine. And you're good to go. Now let's go back over here. Go back over here. And uh, this is how this is the that's the uh, process I made for the skull cap. Toon scout pal. Now if I jump into hair, all I have to deal with is these polygons right here. I don't have anything else I have to deal with. Uh, when you're loading all your geometry into the hair, sometimes the updates are like crazy. It depends on and you know like especially the later version, uh, Victorias and Michaels. Uh, when you load them in there, there's just so much geometry, and then you're trying trying to do hair too. That kind of takes the uh, that kind of adds to the uh, uh, your render times and or your updates and all that. Check this out. If you go into the shader, and I, I picked a terrible color here, but if you go into the shader, you notice that all this is good to go. If uh, yeah, if you uh, Oh, there it is. Um, if you do it, a, if you go at 100% when you're in your shader room, and then you uh, add as all this geometry and the auto updates. Sometimes the auto updates are, are take forever. With the with the lower amount of geometry, it doesn't take that long. If it does keep on taking a long time, you can draw this down a little bit in the in the uh, hair shader preview, and it and the updates are a little bit quicker. 
and if you don't and it you don't have to update it at all you can deselect auto update and it kind of kind of updates anyway see that so um, yeah uh, there's that let's go ahead and put this back here and uh, yeah so that's that's a technique I use for for the uh, for using my tune scalp it's you can't see the whole geometry so you can't go around ears and something that really I really need to tell you about um, most end-user license agreements say that you can't use partial geometry or any of that kind of stuff for you know you can't redistribute somebody else's geometry that's the basic rule if if uh, somebody made a model and then you're making copies of the model and then distributing them that's kind of a no-no so this little technique that I'm that I'm that I showed you is for personal use only uh, just just know that if you start distributing somebody else's stuff there chances are you'll get in trouble okay so um, make sure this is for personal use only and uh, yeah this is just the first steps I'm gonna go ahead and uh, there'll be some other stuff that I'm gonna show you but uh, I wanted to get this out of the way because it's uh, it's kind of a cool trick especially if you have uh, limited resources so anyway that's it for this time I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later